Hello you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're gonna be doing 2019 drugstore makeup favorites. So I have already actually done Best of Hair Care, which was a really good one. If you missed it, I talked about all of my favorite hair care products, um, doing an at-home keratin treatment, styling stuff, shampoo, conditioner, all that great stuff is in that video. I guess we should just get into it because we do have quite a lot of drugstore stuff to talk about. So I guess we'll just start off with, um, let's do it in the way that I would apply these products. I had two primers that were really amazing for me this year. The first one was the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. I tended to like this a little bit more during the hotter months because I really felt like it kept my makeup on my skin much longer because this does give you that really sticky, grippy base. Very similar to the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, but um, I really liked this. I don't necessarily think that these primers actually make your skin look more dewy. Um, especially when you put makeup on top, they're not going to make a matte foundation look dewy, but they make your skin itself look dewy, but it completely depends on what you put on top of it. Regardless, it's a great primer that actually makes your makeup last so much longer because it just sticks and grabs onto it. And then the other one that I really loved was from Hard Candy. This is their Glow Primer with the Prismatic Pearls. I love this so much. It's a beautiful champagne primer. Um, I actually realized I never spoke about this on my channel. I just kept completely forgetting to speak about it, but I really loved this. I used it super regularly. It's a great um, underneath foundation or tinted moisturizer primer because it just kind of peeks out from behind it, but it also looks really pretty if you mix it in with your foundation as well to kind of sheer it out and just turn a foundation into a tinted um, illuminating moisturizer. So both of these primers of the year for me. Foundation wise, this was definitely the most difficult category for me to pick from because I had so many this year that I was in love with. Um, my favorite just like everyday go-to perfect amount of coverage was the Maybelline Dream BB Tinted Moisturizer. I use this, well it's actually a BB cream, um, but I use this almost every single day. It's a product that I am constantly repurchasing because I'm constantly going through them. Love it during the summertime. It's just beautiful and just like a, a nice lightweight, light amount of coverage. So love that. And then I also fell deeply in love with this foundation around the summertime. It was the Light Illusion Foundation from Flower Beauty. This foundation is gorgeous. I think it performs like a high-end foundation. It actually really reminds me of Dior Star Foundation. I think that's why I like this so much. The coverage is exceptional. It looks like healthy skin, um, but it still gives you the ability to like look flawless without looking fake. So it's amazing. And I can wear that from like sheer to fully flawless coverage and be happy with it all the spots in between. Um, I also really loved the Revlon Candid Foundation. Now, uh, this one really reminds me of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. It's very fluid, it's very lightweight, um, and it looks very soft on your skin with like a soft powder finish, soft matte. What was I just saying? It has a soft powder matte finish on the skin, um, and so it just has like a nice, satin finish without being like too matte to the point that it's like clinging to dry patches or making you look older. So it's a very flattering, beautifully, beautifully lightweight feeling foundation. So I just love how this one felt like nothing. Big, big fan of the Maybelline Urban Dream Cover Foundation. I loved this during the summertime, especially because it does have SPF 50. Now I would still wear my uh, SPF underneath it because Obviously, to get adequate sun coverage from this, you'd have to wear an ungodly amount and you would just look like so cakey. But um, I did like that I had the SPF 50 because I felt like it was just adding insurance during the hotter months. And it's also nice to just throw it on because it does have exceptionally great coverage. So a little bit provided a lot of coverage, which I was a big fan of. Um, and it was also super dewy. Um, borderline greasy some days, but I didn't mind that. I actually don't mind looking greasy because my skin is so dry. So um, I personally enjoyed that from this product. And then the last foundation I want to mention is actually my favorite matte foundation from the drugstore of the year. It was the All My Skin Perfecting Foundation. I was so impressed with this the first time I used it. I was actually a little bit hesitant because 
you guys know my skin type and just matte foundations i'm a little bit more uh, finicky with them so this one looks so beautiful and so natural it honestly it settles down to a matte finish but it's nothing that looks cakey or dry it just looks like soft softly like fresh powdered skin so it looks like you have that little bit of a layer of powder on top of your skin with the foundation but the best part about that is that it lasts so long it lasts all day with great coverage and i like the finish because i can put a little bit of a setting spray on top and make it look a little bit less matte but it it doesn't make your skin feel like other matte foundations that leave you feeling like really tight and dry and like <gasps> My favorite everyday concealer was the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. Uh, it has a great buildable amount of coverage. I also like how this line specifically from L'Oreal has all the different undertones. So I love that I can get like a warm undertoned concealer. And this one specifically just felt really nice, really light. Um, it didn't provide a ton of coverage, but I'd say like medium to medium full coverage. So it always looked really natural for me and um, just camouflage the things that I wanted to camouflage without making my skin look cakey or too artificial. And then the days where I really wanted to make sure that my makeup was going to last for several hours and I didn't want to have to set it with a powder, the Maybelline Super Stay Concealer. I love this stuff so much. I use it under my eyes very regularly because it sets down to a matte finish so I don't have to put any type of setting powder on it. And because it sets down to a matte finish, it also makes a really beautiful eyeshadow primer. So I prime my eyes with this a lot as well. And um, it works really great for like pimples if you really want to make sure that those have coverage on them for as long as possible. Just stuff like that. Um, it's a great long wearing concealer that doesn't emphasize bad things on your face, which you don't want a concealer to do. So yeah, these two were my go-to for the year. My favorite bronzer of the year, hands down, could not get enough of it, was the Physicians Formula Toffee Cream Bronzer. This is so beautiful. I used it in a tutorial showing you guys this product in action and how it just blends out so seamlessly and just looks like real tanned skin. It's incredible. I can't get enough of it. It's by far like one of my favorite bronzers that I have ever, ever tried. But I know that this is a cream and I know some people are turned off by cream bronzers, but this one performs quite like a powder. It's actually a lot easier to work with than you would think, but if you are into more um, traditional powder bronzers, I did have two that I really loved. The first was the Physicians Formula Sculpting Bronze from the Butter Bronzer line. The other ones are just way too light for me and never really showed up the way I wanted them to. So I love this shade. It's nice and deep and dark and really gives me the definition and the warmth that I want from a bronzer. So I'm a big fan of this. It obviously also smells like a tropical vacation, which is amazing. And then the other one that I started using quite recently within the past couple of months, but have been a big fan of this, is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Now this is actually like a setting powder, but it's in the shade Nutmeg. So as you can see, it's obviously much deeper than my skin tone, but I love using this as a bronzer and like a sculpting powder. Not necessarily a bronzing product, but has become one of my favorite bronzers ever. Blush wise, I did have quite a few. The first favorite definitely was the Physicians Formula Dewy Blush Elixirs. I spoke about these many times throughout the year. They're kind of exactly what I wish the Glossier Cloud Paints were. These have buildable pigmentation, but they leave your skin looking very dewy and radiant without being luminous, if that makes sense. Like they're not overly shimmery and they just look like healthy skin and look so natural. It doesn't even look like you have a product on your skin when you're wearing these. My favorite powder blushes definitely were from Burt's Bees. These are the bamboo blushes and I just thought that the colors were all really nice and muted enough that they go with whatever look you want, but the pigmentation on these is also crazy. You just need one light dap, just like a touch into this powder and you've got enough pigment for yourself for both cheeks and then some. Um, this one is in the shade Fresh Apricot and then my favorite that I wore to death Toasted cinnamon. It goes with everything. And if you have similar coloring to me, you will love this because it just it's so flattering on an olive skin tone, 
with dark hair and dark eyes it's sometimes tricky to find blushes that are like flattering on darker hair darker eye complexions and that one it always looked really amazing my favorite highlighter was definitely from Neutrogena, the liquid highlight in Supernova because it really just is crazy intense and can be worn really nice and sheer or you could, like you can make it look really nice and subtle or you can really build it up and just get that like beamed up super crazy metallic looking highlight but nonetheless I always wore it very subtle and was really happy with the way it looked. So now the other one that I, again, I kept forgetting to speak about it on my channel. It's from the brand Makeup Obsession, and this is in the shade Mega Honey. Now this is kind of one of those baked highlighters. Like, that's what it feels like to me. I guess it doesn't say if it's baked, but it feels like a baked highlighter. And the thing I will say about this, it looks exceptional and beautiful. If you have a dry skin type though, you definitely need to properly moisturize your skin. And honestly, I would say that the way to apply this would be after you spritz your face because if you have any sort of dry patch, this will cling and completely accentuate the dry patch. But even if you do have a dry patch, as long as you spritz and then apply this, it looks wet, it looks reflective and gorgeous. And again, can be applied to be totally beamed up but I like that you know like subtle highlight where it just kind of appears when you move your face I don't really like when it's like so aggressively highlighted two favorite setting sprays literally could not pick between the two of them first one is the L'Oreal Lumi shake and do glow mist oh my gosh this is my second bottle of this just purchased another one because I love this so much it just makes your skin look like juicy baby skin. It's incredible. And there's no pearlescence or shimmer to it. So it, it just looks like juicy, dewy, healthy skin. Um, and then the other one is the e.l.f. Glow Dewy Mist. This one, it's kind of more milky. There's not a lot of shimmer or pearlescence to it. In fact, I don't actually think there's any shimmer or pearlescence to this one. It's quite thick though, as you guys can see. So it's really moisturizing and it's kind of like a spray coconut oil. Um, so this one's more like winter targeted for me. Sometimes in the summer it was a little bit too heavy, but I really like how it just gives my skin that super dewy look, but also provides it with some hydration. Ah, and it smells amazing. It literally smells like coconut milk. I'm obsessed. Brow pencils, um, I'm gonna keep this super short and sweet because I literally just loved these brow pencils so much and I don't actually even know if I, I'm gonna have a favorite high-end brow pencil this year because these were my absolute favorites and I used them the most. The first is the Revlon Colorstay Brow Creator. Now this is a super fine tipped pencil, which I love. It has a spoolie on one end and then you can actually open it up and then you'll have a little powder sponge with brow color on that as well and then the la girl slim shady brow pencil again really nice and fine so you're able to do those hair like strokes they're both very long lasting was very impressed and loved those a lot i mean you guys already know this because you i've talked about them so much the la girl eyeliners lasting brown will forever be my favorite brown eyeliner pencil ever i will never not repurchase this these are amazing they stay put they last and last in the water line the tight line on your lash line they do not budge the black one is also super amazing i actually had a really difficult time choosing my favorite mascara but then when i was like no just think about what you actually reached for the most and what you were actually the most in love with and it was these two i was so excited because 2019 was the year that l'oreal came back out with their telescopic waterproof mascara this was a favorite for me since quite honestly like i was in middle school like i loved this and then it was discontinued for a few years and then when it came back i was so excited i think it is one of the best mascaras ever created it gives you beautiful length and clean definition it's not a wispy mascara at all but just gives you sky high long lashes with volume but it's a clean definition volume so it's not wispy at all um really just elongates those lashes so amazingly and then my other go-to was the maybelline lash stiletto i love this mascara i think it is great for every day um i love the brush and i like how it gives me length and wispy volume 
it actually gives you like a ton of volume and it's very buildable they're both in the waterproof version so they hold curls and uh yeah in 2019 covergirl came out with the true naked queen chip cream shadow sticks these are phenomenal straight up dupes for the laura mercier shadow sticks i was also really impressed with the colors that covergirl came out with all very modern wearable like practical shades there was nothing that was like why why love these they stay put they make great eyeshadow bases but i also love wearing them on their own and then you guys know how much i loved the all may velvet foil eyeshadows these are beautiful you can get really nice sheer washes of color but also full opacity and they're just so gorgeous i love these you can do whatever you want with them you can use them as eyeliners or you can wear them as eyeshadows my other favorite eyeshadows were the maybelline color tattoos and the Revlon Color Stay eyeshadows. The Revlon Color I st Color Stay eyeshadows have been one of my favorites for many years. They have beautiful shades that I wear very regularly. Like these stay in my everyday makeup collection because I wear them multiple times a week. They are my favorites and my go-to. So I love those. And then I also loved the Maybelline Color Tattoos. Same deal. Come in a pot. Um, super long wearing just great shades and they stay in my everyday makeup collection because these are usually the shadows that I want to wear every single day because they're easy I just put them on with my finger and they blend out and they just look so nice. I love cream shadows I'm a cream shadow girl. <laughs> there were two lip liners that I loved. Uh, this one's not going to surprise you guys because it's all I always talk about it. <laughs> NYX New Truffle, the perfect everyday brown lip liner. And then the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Pencil and Keep It Spicy, which is the lip pencil that I'm wearing today. A little bit more warm tone, a little bit more of a fleshy nude, but either or. Oh, I also really like how the uh, LA Girl ones are long wearing. They last all day and they're waterproof, so they're amazing. And... Uh, yeah, these are my favorite lip pencils. My favorite lipstick of the year was the All May Lip Vibes and Call Out. It is like the perfect everyday creamy brownie nude that doesn't make you look dead. You still look fleshy and alive. So I loved that. Um, and then I was also really, really impressed with the Physician's Formula Tinted Lip Balms. My two favorites were Tawny Nude and Ginger Snap. I like that these are, they give your lips like a creamy glossy vibe but they also have a decent amount of coverage but not too much coverage to where they're full on a lipstick because I hate that too like I want my tinted lip balm to be a tinted lip balm and where you can still see a little bit of my lips underneath so I loved those the physician's formula tinted lip butters I love tinted lips I guess uh, this one is in the shade soaking up the sun which I love this. They make your lips look wet and glassy. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. So soaking up the sun was a major favorite of mine as well. My favorite glosses of the year were the Revlon the Gloss. They completely revamped the packaging. I like how it's a little bit more sleek and sexy. And I love the new Jumbo Do Doe Foot applicators. They're amazing. So the Revlon Super Lustrous Glosses, beautiful, make your lips look wet and glossy. But other than that, guys, those were all of my 2019 favorites from the drugstore. I hope you liked this video. Um, I'm so excited. I love doing the roundups. It's very fun, but it's also, it's like really stressful because I always forget at least one or two things. I've already forgotten one thing in my hair video, and I know I forgot two things in my clean beauty video. So it's just like... It's inevitable. I always forget at least one thing. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe if you didn't earlier. Please also be sure to come follow me on Instagram. I'm going to list and link every single product in the description box down below for you guys. But other than that, we will chat in my next video. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.